Okay. I mean, uh, I got my update that everybody's fine. Got it. Um, just for you kind of in that third quarter, it felt like we're seeing it kind of nightly where Chris has like a little bit of a run either as a playmaker, as a scorer, but it felt like he scores 11 points in the final four minutes of that third quarter. And you guys kind of get your first lead of the night. Just what did he mean to you guys tonight? Yeah, no, I mean, every minute he plays, you know, it's just good for us. And, um, you know, to have him, you know, where we are right now, where he's finishing, um, you know, a lot of quarters or, you know, particularly that first and third, um, it's been good for us. So, um, you know, I think he's just finding his rhythm and getting back and, um, you know, helping us doing whatever he can to, to help his teammates. Um, on the offensive glass tonight, I think you guys give up 19 of them. Um, just what do you see there? I know without Bobby, it's going to, you're going to play smaller lineups and it might be a struggle, but what do you see on, the, on that? I'll go with the positive first. Um, you know, I thought Wes Matthews had some big time defensive boards. Javon Carter got a big time defensive board, followed it with a pull up three in transition. And, you know, so when our guards got in and rebounded, it made a big difference for us. And, you know, for those 19 other ones that they got, we got to be better. Um, it was a point of emphasis coming into the game. And it doesn't matter who we're playing. Um, we've got to take care of the defensive glass. The guards got to help us. And, um, you know, I think there were a lot of positive examples, but there were enough where we know we got to keep working on it. Um, to kind of follow that up, Drew, 13 rebounds tonight, his first double-double with rebounds of the year. Um, but to make it difficult on Rozier and Ball defensively while also rebounding, while also – it's – I guess a, I guess what was the, the load on those guys in the backcourt tonight in that way? Yeah, no, I mean, I think, uh, you know, Drew's capable of doing so much. And, um, you know, like I said, it was an emphasis coming into the games that we need – or to, to tonight's game, we needed to rebound. Our guards needed to help. And, um, you know, Drew got his fair share. And I think he had six offensive rebounds too. So – um, you know, that's a, an area where he's good in the dunker. He's good playing around the basket. So, um, yeah, he does a ton for us. Um, to go back to the question on Giannis, I, I know that he plays all 48 minutes, but is that one of those things where you don't really want to see him flying into the crowd with 20 seconds left in the game, especially with, with what he's been dealing with? Yeah, in a perfect world, that, that'd probably be. Um, but, you know, that's part of what makes him great. Coach, uh, the, the Hornets want to play fast, right? Um, assistant coach Vince Lagarza was talking about that at halftime. In what ways do you think you all handled that maybe better or whatever your thought process was in the, in the second half? Yeah, no, I mean, I thought as the game went on, our discipline to get back, our, you know, kind of focus, attention to detail um, improved. Um, you know, I think 27 points or 25 in the fourth quarter and 28 I don't know. I can't read anymore. Um, you know, so I think overall the defense in the second half, it, and it always starts with transition and it filled, finishes with the defensive board. So those two fundamental things, I thought we got better. Um, not perfect, but we got better as the game went. And with Javon, how much do you read his ability to sense momentum changing plays with, you know, those kind of stop on a dime threes? Uh, I think there was one, I believe it, it was either third or fourth quarter, fourth quarter maybe where he hit that shot and it went to 13 points, but just his ability to read a moment. Yeah, no, I mean, we're, you know, I think trying to push Javon to be aggressive uh, and he's taking advantage of his opportunities. Um, his shot and his three point shooting is, is a strength and uh, he's playing to it. And I think it's really made a big difference for us uh, here recently.